Hello and welcome to episode 40 of the Smash Ultimate Modding Workshop. In this episode, I'll be going over how to add new sword trails to the game. Oh, and a little insight into how I made this Shulk mod. For Halloween, I made this mod that replaces Sephiroth's sword trails with these bloody ones. I'm gonna make it so most moves use the normal trails, while up air has the modded one. To do this, I've copied the sword trails from the mod over to this mod's directory, and renamed them to both have underscore blood at the end. In Switch Toolbox, it's also crucial that you rename the effect name inside the file to the new name and save it, or else it won't work. You see here I have text edge sword on one underscore blood and three underscore blood. If I don't hit rename and make sure that that name matches the name of the file, then it's not going to work. Next up, I've made this config.json file that will be available in item 1 of the description. Set it up so that it has the full path for the files you're adding, i.e. effect, fighter, edge, trail, text edge, sword, one, underscore, blood, dot, new text, b. And then up here, it needs to be fighter, fighter name, common, effect. And since I have config.json in the mod folder, and effect, fighter, edge, trail has these files, in the plugin, I can now add underscore, blood, to the effect up air script. This will make sure that up air uses the modded trails while all the other moves use the vanilla ones. Testing in Smash now, up smash, f smash both use the vanilla trails while up air uses the modded ones. But what if I wanted the sword trails to change in real time, like the shulk mod that I made? To do that, I'm gonna hook the function that calls the sword trail, that being after image 4 on arg29. If you don't know how to do this, I'd recommend you watch episodes 25 and 28 of this series. Down here I've got a check. If the first argument of the function is text edge sword 1, then instead of pushing text edge sword 1 into the function, we push text edge sword 1 blood. Instead of checking specifically for sword 3, Sephiroth's other sword trail, I've just used an elf statement. Because sword 1 and sword 3 are the only time Sephiroth ever uses this after image 4 on arg29 function, if the argument isn't sword 1, that means that it's sword 3. So we can just push text edge sword 3 blood into it. And then for the rest of the arguments, we can just push the original value in. What this code is doing is checking if the fighter is Sephiroth, and if he's in one-wigged mode. And then if he is, when the game tries to summon a sword trail, it'll summon the bloody one instead. If we test this in Smash, he's now only using the vanilla trails, Unless, of course, he goes into his one-winged form, in which case he'll only be using the bloody trails. This is pretty much all that's needed to make the Shulk Monado Trails mod. I would have just showed off that code, but it's so heavily optimized that it's practically unreadable at this point. Either way, the code that I made will all be available in item 1 of the description. I hope this helped, and happy modding!